A vault is a secure, compressed, 512-bit encrypted folder created by the EncryptStick application. You have the ability to create any number of vaults on unlimited computers and writable media, including CDs, DVDs, portable hard drives, server drives, and memory cards. Vaults may be accessed only by inserting the USB flash drive powered with the EncryptStick software into the appropriate computer, executing the EncryptStick application, and providing your password. Any files or folders that are added to a vault are only accessible by the user who created it using the USB drive and running the EncryptStick application on the computer where the vault was created. This is not applicable for the default vault, which is located on the USB flash drive. By default, there is a vault named Flash Drive located on your USB flash drive. This is your mobile vault. Any files that are added to the flash drive vault are compressed, encrypted, and stored on the flash drive itself. This allows you to safely travel with your encrypted files on your flash drive. You can insert the flash drive into any computer to launch EncryptStick, and then enter your personal password and gain access to the files. Vaults can be created anywhere on any computer or on your other writable media devices. There are two ways to create new vaults. The first option is to single-click your mouse anywhere in the open area in this window. Then, single-click your left mouse button on File in the menu bar. Next, single-click your left mouse button on New Vault in the menu. The second way to create a vault is by using the right-click option. Right-click your mouse in an open area within this box to bring up the sub-menu. Then, single-click your left mouse button on New Vault to create a new vault. A dialog box will appear for you to enter the name of your new vault. For this demonstration, we'll use the name Test. After typing in the name, single-click your left mouse button on the OK button. You have the ability to create your vault to any of the locations in this dialog box. For this demonstration, we will click Desktop. Then, single-click your left mouse button on the OK button. You can now see the new vault we just created, called Test, in our list of vaults. Note that the physical path or location of the vault we've created is shown to the right of the vault name, along with other file information. Your vault has been created and is now ready for you to use. It is only visible through the application and does not show on your desktop. There are two ways to delete vaults. To use either, you first need to single left-click your mouse button on the vault that you want to delete. From here, you have two options. The first option is to single-click your left mouse button on File in the menu bar to bring up the sub-menu. Then, single-click your left mouse button on Remove Vault from the sub-menu. The second option for deleting a vault is to single-click your right mouse button on the name of the vault you wish to delete to bring up this sub-menu. From the sub-menu, single-click your left mouse button on the Delete option. This dialog box will appear, confirming your request to delete the vault. Note that, once a vault has been deleted, the vault and all of its contents are permanently removed and never recoverable. From here, single-click your left mouse button on the Yes option to delete the vault. The application will then automatically bring you back to the main screen, where you can now see that the vault and its contents are gone and have been permanently deleted. To rename a vault, you first need to single-click your left mouse button on the vault you want to rename. Then, single-click your right mouse button on the name of the vault you wish to rename to bring up the sub-menu. From the sub-menu, single-click your left mouse button on the Rename option. This dialog box will appear, showing the current name of the vault. Click your backspace key to remove the old name and then type the new name for your vault. In this example, we will type in the name TODAY. After typing in the name, click your left mouse button on the OK button to continue. The application will then automatically return you to the main screen, where you can now see that the vault has been renamed to TODAY. This concludes our tutorial on working with vaults within EncryptStick. Thank you for your continued interest in the world's most powerful portable encryption software available on the market today. 
We welcome you to view all of our other tutorials.